tell you something about how to calculate the sample size uh, for studies that are not experimental that are basic or you can say that uh, for epidemiological studies the sample size is uh, calculated using online tools uh, some of them are totally free so I'm telling you raw soft it's raw soft sample size calculator so we'll simply uh, go to the website and now here's the math it's done basically uh, what you need to see is what margin of error can you accept that is 5% uh, so this is alpha type 1 error that is normally set to 5% confidence interval needs to be left at 95% because if you are going to change it for example if I'm going to change it to 10 here should be 90 so by default I, I should be accepting type 1 or alpha as 5 and 95 for confidence interval so uh, by this confidence interval I mean that uh, with 95% confidence I can say that what I'm saying is true and uh, alpha which is 5% is simply there are 5% chances that what I am saying or what I am trying to prove through my statistical analysis can be wrong. Okay, so uh, the next thing is what is your population size? So if you are conducting a research uh, in a big city and let's say uh, 20,000 is the population of that city but in the big cities uh, we can have 200,000. So you can see 200,000 means 2 lakhs, even if we make it 20,000, uh, uh, sorry, 20 lakhs, then it, it's only 385. So what is the response distribution? Uh, leave it as 50%, there's no need to uh, just change it. And now you can see that online surveys was with what we see have uh, completion rates of 66% and uh, your, your sample size is basically this, your recommended sample size is this one, the one I highlighted, 385. So normally we, we say that 20,000 studies, they need 377 or 380 people. So the sample of 380 subjects is sufficient for any epidemiological study that is targeting around uh, like 2 lakhs or 20 lakhs or you can say even if I increase the number, it doesn't change uh, from 385. So 385 is the maximum sample size for the epidemiological studies according to the raw soft. So uh, I hope that it's going to help you and you can uh, use this formula also if you want to calculate manually. But as this is available online, so there's no need to work hard. And how you are going to write it, let me show you. Okay, if, if I'm going to conduct a study and I will write like this sample size so the sample size is going to be I will write sample size was calculated using raw soft sample size calculator And now you can add this formula if you want. You just have to copy it and paste it. You can like this. And then uh, before that we can also write a total sorry. Total of 385 or 380 subjects will be recruited to the study. And then you can say that sample size was calculated using draw soft sample size calculator using the formula this at 
at 95% uh, confidence enter hope it's going to work for you and uh, if you have any questions you can leave the questions and comments in the comment section and uh, do like and subscribe my channel so you can ask for any custom video I will try to make it for you take care